Nick D'Agostino back in the starting 11 for the first time in a while in the league. How uh, was it? It was very tough. Um, honest, obviously, it was a it was a tough game. Um, it was nice to be back in the starting 11. Um, but yeah, it was a tough game. It was very transitional. So um, I think a lot of defending, which uh, I was quite tired when I actually got the ball, which was frustrating. But um, you know, it's a it's a tough point to take. But um, I think that's what we deserved in the end. Um, we honestly could have lost the game in the end as well. Um, we, were, we were under the pump for quite a while, but um, we stuck together and, and, uh, and defended as a, as a unit. And uh, yeah, like I said, it was it was nice to finish with a point in the end. And you're uh, we describe you always as a tough player. It takes the, um, goes out into the war, um, and this was especially tough. It looked like, um, but um, how do you see that aspect of the game today? Did it uh, have an effect on you? Yeah, obviously I love I love battling and I love fighting and uh, obviously going out for headers and winning aerial duels and that sort of stuff. But um, it was honestly tough. Um, you know, I was like I said, I was quite fatigued when we actually had the ball. Um, we did a lot of defending and we gave the ball away too cheaply many, many times. And yeah, it was uh, it was a very physical game. Um, obviously they uh, went long quite often, um, which we, we had to deal with better. I think um, we didn't win enough second balls, but. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a fight, but um, yeah, we just weren't quite up to it today. It's also a tough competition in the squad for the place in the starting eleven. Um, how do you see that uh, going forward? Now you have finally got a start after an injury. Yeah, it was, it's great. You know, I love competition. I love fighting for my spot, and um, obviously, uh, it's always competition. And uh, when you're in a, in a top league and a top team, so. Yeah, I'm enjoying it and I uh, just got to keep working hard every day in training. I was talking to Sondra Langos earlier. He looked a bit, um, yeah, he was sad for his uh, involvement in the goal. How, how do you as a team work on that? Do you say anything to him? Does everybody take care of him or is it someone special that like yeah, goes? It's everyone's job, you know. Um, it's no one's individual fault. Yeah, you might make a mistake, but everyone makes mistakes. I made plenty of mistakes today. Everyone else did, so... You know, that happens in football. Um, no one's perfect and no one can have a perfect performance, unfortunately. So, yeah, obviously it was a, it's, a, it's a big mistake from not just him, but maybe a few players. But, um, yeah, everyone's supportive and, um, yeah, we can fix that, we can work on it. And it's just, I think it's just a communication thing. And, yeah, it, I'm sure it won't happen again. We uh, think that uh, both Sondre and uh, Gibril has done a great job in the defence. How do you see it uh, in the team? Like you miss, you lost uh, David, who was one of the greatest players in the league. Uh, how do you see um, the defenders uh, taking his place? Yeah, they've been great, honestly. Um, obviously, to go up to Bodo and concede only one, um, I think they defended un unbelievably. I think the whole team defended well as a unit, and um, yeah, they've been they've been exceptional. Um, Obviously, it was it was a big loss losing David, um, but no, we knew that we had players to, to fill that that void, and yeah, I think they've got done a great job at the, the start of the season so far. We're looking forward to seeing more of you, Nick. We're glad to have you back, and uh, hope to see some more goals in the next games. <laughs> so am I. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you, Nick. Thank you.